When asked what superpower they could have, nobody ever picks super tasting. Because it sucks. And even the real power of super tasting, which you can have and totally get tested for, just makes things taste more acrid and bitter. I don't have super tasting. But I swear, when I first kiss somebody, the taste on my tongue is all synesthesia, which should be a superpower. How Brenna tasted like a downpour of cigarettes, all sopping wet and water ash. It was awful all over my face. Or Stacia, who should have tasted like vodka, actually tasted like honey melting across the early dawning. Or Name Redacted, who does not want me to tell you that she tasted kind of like potted meat that somebody left in a microwave for a week as it bloomed maggots. But I just told you, and you would think I would have stopped kissing her, but it took well over five weeks for that to happen. And I would have kissed Solana forever if I could have. She tasted like kittens with kiss face paint exploding into rainbows, which is to say sort of like specialty Japanese candy, which is just what some white girls taste like. I can't explain that. But I didn't get to do that. Obviously, I would never say this poem if I had a difficult thing to roll off the tongue, which understands things beyond taste like time and finality. How eventually Solana tasted more like one of those Ramune sodas, but really just the carbonation fizz, which isn't a taste at all, just a sensation, this tickle against the lips, a signal of things which do not last. If I could have any superpower, I would be tempted to wish for do-overs. It is the soft way of explaining regrets, but perhaps better than all of that would be the power to just be okay with things ending.